Hello. Oh, oh. Is that better, or do you think it's too much light? Probably there. Anyways, I wanted to talk about the human heart and <laughs> and the human heart stores up compassion. And the more you attribute your behavior to compassion, the more your heart will open up. And this is what we're talking about when we're talking about God. We're talking about love. We're not talking about Satanism and all that jazz, okay? When you have compassion as intent, okay? Not just thinking about yourself and blah, 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 blah. But compassion uh, in your will and what you're putting out there, you're going to come out ahead. What's going to happen is that you will find a role model designed in people that fails you or gives you benefits. Now, when there's benefits and there's rewards, but you never, ever reward bad behavior. That's one thing you don't do. You stay really cool. You One of my uh, points in my methods is to make room for profanity. And when you make room for profanity, it helps you express yourself and get your spiritually consecrated blah, blah out there because you're speaking what you're thinking. That's okay to do. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not breaking the law. You're not going to go to hell because you said the wrong thing. Okay? You're not going to get blown up. Okay? Because you said the wrong thing. There is understanding of why you're saying what you're saying, and that is called what? Emotional intelligence. So when you, in your human heart, get triggered by people's betrayal, people's distrust, people's lies, people's cheating, people's thieving, and you call them out on it and they still ignore you, that can really, really, really make you really, really, really hurt. This is what uh, somebody in my family did to me when I was crying. They backhanded me and nearly up to 20 times. So I am loaded with, I mean, when you say Tyler and Hamilton, that's a loaded word. We're already psychologically there. We're already psychologically developed. And as actors or thespians or people of lovers to uh, literature, you got to keep your heart open to compassion and not let people run over you. When they run over you, you stand up to them. You say, you can't do that anymore. That doesn't work for me. This here clicks your compassion mode. You're going to be able to level up and up level because now you have compassion for yourself and nobody's mind fucking you and nobody's being a shithead and everybody is uh, minding their own business. So I want you to be self-protective in yourself. People can be real cheaters, really I mean, they could turn on you after 13 years of friendship if they live with influence. I've had, I've had singers, I've had actresses, I've had uh, musicians, I've had really weird, weird, weird people just flake out on me because they can't see themselves without the music. They can't see themselves right here, right now. Maybe as a musician, but they can't see themselves. They need to see themselves right here, right now not what was and what's going to be, but right here, right now. Where are you coming from? And wherever you are in your journey, have compassion. You'll do better in maneuvering around life 
and navigating to get where you want to be in your social entrepreneurship and your stratification. So, how would I put this all in summary? Is that when you have the human heart and you use compassion and it's not coming back to you by other people and they're slapping you back and forth and they're assaulting you, what do you do? Well, you call the police, right? If you're not a fighter, you don't fight back, you know, and or you use profanity, you know. So there's different ways that you come about your own self-alchemy. And your self-alchemy is your self-governance. It's about yourself. Alchemy is what you are standing on in your faith, okay, in Christ, okay, while you're being who you are. You're being what God created you to be, okay? And you're doing that with gentleness. You're not breaking the law. You're abiding by a correct, healthy earth and emotional justice system that's fair to you. And to have emotional intelligence, when you feel you're going to get angry or agitated, okay, because things need to go your way because you're a prick or you're, uh, or whatever, uh, I'm biting my tongue, you see yourself and you remove, you might not be able to remove yourself from the actual emotion. If you can, then you won. But you see, okay, what is it about myself that's making me feel this way? Is it because I'm underdeveloped? Probably so. Probably yes. That's probably what the answer is. And just start going through a list of different things of why you think you are a piece of shit and need to be triggered. Then when you've already analyzed that, you realize the anger or the whatever feeling is already left. That's emotional intelligence, being able to sit with the emotion and intelligently see why it's there and acknowledge it. So you take care and practice your emotional intelligence with your heart being the center of your compassionate will. And I think you're going to do just fine in your personal development and professional development. Goodbye.